Speaking of economic opportunity, there is a potential for some new jobs to be coming to Coney Island. A proposal to build a new casino there is starting to gain more and more traction. But as Fox 5's Linda Schmidt shows us, not everyone is happy about the idea. Well, Coney Island is a seasonal destination, but some believe putting a casino and hotel here could draw people year round. Coney Island makes the most sense. As the CEO of the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce, Randy Pierce is pushing to get a casino in Coney Island. The State Gaming Commission is authorized to issue three new casino licenses downstate, and Pierce says Coney Island could use an economic boost year round instead of being just a summer destination. For over a century and a half, it's been the people's playground. We have an amusement district that attracts tourists every year. Uh, it needs a 12 month a year venue to sort of keep the jobs and, and economy going. Opponents like City Council Member Ari Kagan, who represents Coney Island, say a casino in the heart of a residential area would be a disaster. Casino will bring more problems to Coney Island, not so many jobs, but many more problems. Kagan points to Atlantic City. That's the prime example of how not to do economic development. Casinos are designed to keep people inside the casinos spending their money. And Council Member Kagan says the surrounding businesses will not benefit. Everything will be good for casino operator, but not for the community. We spoke with some locals to see what they think. They should find another place. This is more like a family thing. Coney Island. I don't think they should because it's going to ruin what is here now. I used to have a business over here. Coney Island is really good for the summertime. You know, we have the ride, we have everything. Wintertime is dead. I think it would help business. I think it would help neighborhood. In Coney Island, Brooklyn, Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.